back to my channel. My name is Sivine. This is Southern Sheet Shopaholic where I focus on fashion, mom life. I have a 12 year old on my floor right now. <laughs> Styling, shopping, just all the things, beauty, everything. Um, I actually have a get ready with me that I'm posting today. First one I've ever done on my channel where I just did my makeup. So be looking out for that. I have my daughter's in there. Her name is Malaya. She wants to say hello. Malaya, you want to say hey? Yes. Hi, y'all. Go subscribe to my channel, Malaya's World 614. Go. There's so I posted my first YouTube video like weeks or like, yeah, weeks ago. So go watch that and go watch all my YouTube shorts. All of them. I want to see one extra view on each and every single one. I'm also posting today, so. Thank you. And subscribe to my mommy. Okay, okay goodbye. Um, so let's get started. I don't know what outfits I'm going to show because, as always, this is <laughs> impromptu filming. I'm actually cooking also in between this. So I'm probably going to stop in between to go check on my jambalaya. I'm from Gulf Coast, Mississippi. I don't know if you guys all know that. And jambalaya is bay. And frying fish also. Frying fish is bay. Um, so... <laughs> Fish is bae. It is bae. So I'm about to go check on that. Um, yeah. So we're juggling here. We're a mom and the kids got to eat it's Sunday. Um, so the first thing I want to show you guys is what I got from Walmart. I only got one thing um, that came in. I actually bought three things. But these are a pair of jean shorts from Free Assembly. They're a size 18. I love um, certain brands from Walmart. I love Free Assembly and I love Scoop. Um, Eloqua used to have a brand there, but I don't think they have them anymore. I got these in an 18. They have some distressing, and they're just like plain shorts. They didn't have any stretch. I wanted some like organic cotton shorts, and these were regular. It doesn't say how much they regular were. Regular were. Um, they're called the Edison Cutoff Shorts in Light Destroy. That's the brand, in case you didn't see. And these were eight dollars. So, a bit of advice that I'm going to give you guys and that I'm following myself is I'm done shopping for summer unless it's something that's really, really, oh, I got to talk about my outfit. Everything I have on came from Target. I'll put a picture here. This dress is really old, but I have some newer um, slip dresses that they have there. My watch is from JBW. I had a couple of messages about that. It's from JBW. Um, I have a, different bracelets on and um, my rings are from Amazon and Nordstrom. But this organza top is from um, Target. It was back when Target had a little more style. Um, it's by New Day, but it's I have this color and I have it in a lilac color. And then I have a midi slip dress on in a um, leopard print. I don't know why I'm doing this. From Target also. So, yes. I will link some different ones because I bought a couple. And I will link those in my like to know it. All my socials will be linked below. Please go follow me on my Instagram. That is where I blog. I have tons of stories. I get free products from influencer and from different places and I do review them. I sell things on my Poshmark. My Poshmark's linked down there as well. And yeah, get to know a little bit about me by looking at my Instagram. My Instagram is here, Southern Street Shopaholic. I got about 100 new followers and I'm so excited. So my Instagram is growing. I post real outfits every day or every time i get dressed so you guys will get to see in real time what i wear and i need to go check on my jambalaya brb okay i am back so crisis avoided jambalaya is ready we will commence eating when i'm done i know that's tmi i'm just gonna let y'all know like this is real life so i talked about the walmart shorts now i'm gonna go and get in a couple outfits because i haven't filled an outfit video for a little while and then i did the get ready with me last week so i have some outfits the first thing is what I wore to the, um, not before that. So, this is a work outfit. So, for work, y'all know I have certain staples or in life and dressing and putting together outfits. I have several staples. And maybe I'll, the next video I'll do is like an outfit staple video or what I consider like core pieces for an outfit. A slip dress is one of them. A slip dress, a bodysuit, a blazer, nice pair of jeans, preferably skinny jeans, colorful top or top of interest are a, a few things that I like to, to go to when I'm putting together an outfit. 
when I'm picking together and putting together an outfit for work, I like to feel comfortable at work. I also like to feel empowered. I like to feel strong. You have to think about things that make you feel good about yourself. I like colors. I do like black too and neutrals too. So it just depends on what a vibe I'm on because I am a Gemini. So some days it's up, some days it's down, some days it's black, some days it's bright me. But I do like colors. I do like just interesting pieces, interesting tops. In the summertime, I'm all about the colors. So this particular outfit, I wore a top from New York and Company. It was a very colorful tropical top. It was yellow, lime green, and white. Um, I wore it with a pair of jeans from Express. By the way, I got accepted to be an Express style partner. Woohoo! So hopefully I have like in-store events soon. I have like a different um, discounts for you guys. I'll have pieces that I can link for you guys to wear from Express. I do wear a lot of things from Express. So I'll provide those special links for the Express items separate from my like to know it. I'm thinking that's where it's going to go. I don't know. I just got accepted. So I got to go through all the... Um, the classes like to see what's actually required but anyway the the whole outfit i think was the top was from new york and company this the pants were from express the belt was from h&m and my shoes were from express also express really has cute shoes don't sleep on express's shoes i have several pairs of shoes from express next outfit was a work outfit as well another leopard print i love leopard the skirt was from express bodysuit was from um oh amazon and my sandals were like these platform sandals with pearls, like little diamonds, reminding me of being in ninth grade again. Very grunge, very Claire Danes. My so-called life era, that was when I was in middle school and high school. So, yes. Um, I thought it was very cute. Cool slip dresses, slip skirts are thin. They're satin, they're thin. Throw them on. Some are polyester. It's a very, like, breezy if the wind blows, you'll feel like a little drift. It's great for the summertime. They look like you put in a lot of effort when you didn't. That's the key. Like people sometimes look at the way I dress and I think, oh my gosh, she stays up all night. She does. I do put in a lot of effort. Okay, I'm gonna say I do because I just like clothes and I like dressing and I like the whole planning aspect of it. But you don't have to. Um, some days I don't, and then people think that I do. Um, so if you have your core key pieces and the pieces that you know that look well on you, you can throw it off together in two seconds, honey, and be like good to go. Um, Beyonce concert. Beyonce concert was everything. I don't remember if I talked about this or not because, I, like I said, I haven't filmed in a while, but yes. So I ended up wearing a Metallica mesh t-shirt that I got like seven years ago that I've never worn. I got during before COVID. Um, it was like sheer and it had like diamonds on it. It was mint. That's clothes are so special to me <laughs> because like you buy something and you know, it's something right. Like, you know, it's going to be something, but you just don't know what for. And when I bought that Metallica shirt, I've had it in my closet for forever. I bought it during concert season because I was going to a lot of concerts at the time and COVID came and, then, and I never really got to wear it. But I always kept it. I never sold it um, on my Poshmark or like to a consignment or anything. Had tags on it and everything because I knew somewhere I was going to wear it. Who knew when I bought it that I was going to wear it to see Beyonce? Um, so I wore that. The shorts are from Shein. They're like ruffle shorts. They were a little short on the side, but they're really cute. And my boots, I've shown them on my channel. Those are from Pretty Little Thing. So it all came together. I'll show you Malaya's outfit. Her top was a Renaissance t-shirt from Amazon, from her official shop, merch. Shorts were from Shein and boots were from Target. My well, outfit was very cute as well. And I'll show you what I wore home from the concert. I wore the same concert top Malaya has. I have two of them actually. Shorts are Nike um, swim trunks that I turned into shorts. And Jordans. Jordans. So I was very like chill, cool, casual. I had door knockers on. I was around the way girl channeling the oh so great Misa Hilton when I wear door, door, door knockers I think of Misa Misa is if y'all don't know she's a fashion stylist really big in the 90s with bad boys she's puppies son's mom she's everything love Misa but anyway so that's that so I'll tell y'all what I got from the outlet next so okay sometimes Random thoughts will pop into my head. So one night I was laying in bed and I was like, I want a 
Was it Annie Bean shirt? I'm still on the hunt for an Annie Bean shirt and a sweatshirt. It wasn't Annie Bean. I was like, I want a um what shirt was it? I can't even think. This stuff came so fast, by the way. So I went on the site for one thing and I ended up getting two other things. So this is how it came. An outlet and tissue paper. Fiona is a designer um, consignment. I wanted a Isabel Morant, that's what it was, t shirt. Okay. So I was just like, I want an Isabel Morant t shirt that's like a sweatshirt, like I want one really, really bad. Um, I want one. <laughs> so that's, it was like 10 30 at night. I'm in the bed. I'm like, I want to. So I Google. Is Bell Morant t shirt sale. Farfetch comes up, Essence comes up. These are designer boutiques that are on my Farfetch Essence. Um, Mode Sense came up, some popped up. They were like in a hundred and something dollar range. And I was like, mm, if I want to spend that, went on eBay. I didn't see anything on eBay. And then the yeah, item popped up. Um, it was, I don't think the shirt came up from that. It might have, might have. So I click on the shirt and the outlet was having an extra 25% off sale. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. So I was able to get an Isabel Morant t-shirt that I know is authentic from the outlet. Um, it's a men's t-shirt. Got in an extra large. I paid, I think it's time for packing slips and everything for y'all to see. Oh, and I'm missing a piece also. Because I have some leggings. I guess they haven't shipped yet. Um, so I ordered three things. So this is the Isabel Moran t-shirt that I got. I thought it was really, really cute. It has um, like cassette tapes on it and it just has Isabel Moran around the circle. Like I said, I got it in extra large. It's a men's t-shirt. It's a very cute it in black. I love the print. I love the gold. It's a very much my vibe and I got it for $40 because it was already on sale for like 76 and then I got the extra 25% off and I downloaded the app and I got 15. So, yeah. And so after that, I'm scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Let me go on and check my email to see when we get the payment because I ordered, I saw that, they had 25% off of, um, and when I found the sale, is that Oh, my shoe fell. When I found the sale, I did post it in my story. So it's very beneficial to follow me on Instagram because I post stuff real time. So I scrolled and went, let me see what else they have on sale because it's an extra 25 and then the 15. Um, I saw some Good American jeans. Y'all know how I feel about Good American. These are Good American Good Legs. I told you I like the Good Legs better than the Good Waist. I sold all my Good Waist. And these are Good Legs in like a light wash with just some discretion on the bottom to replace my good legs that I had before. And these were $32. So I got everything that I ordered from the outlet for what the Isabel Morant shirt was for on a different website. And I got a pair of Ghani leggings, but they just didn't come yet. So I'm waiting on those, um, but yeah. And that's what I got from the outlet. So I'm really happy with those purchases. I love a good band tee. I love a good designer tee. Yeah. The next thing is from Amazon. So, yes, I know I talked about not falling into the skims dupe hype anymore, but I did. And I bought two body suits from Pumi. And this is one of them. It does feel skimmish. I like the fabric. I got this one. I love this color. It's like a terracotta color. And it has sleeves. Thong, bottom. And it's just a v-neck. These are great with jeans. They're slimming. It does have the same, it looks like, compression as skims. So I think this is the closest dupe I've seen to skims. I would have to put it on to see, but just the feel of it, I got it in a 2X. Just the feel of it, I probably could have got a 1X, but I got a 2X. Just the feel of it and the 
compression the give yeah i think this is as close to spinach we're gonna get it so it's puny they have the they have so many different variations of bodysuit scoop neck v-neck one shoulder a mock neck long sleeve they have the dresses so yeah and they were like twenty dollars twenty two dollars this is a little bit thicker than scammers now that i'm feeling it a little bit but it's it's it's, it's close to the formulation it's not exact I told y'all y'all not gonna totally do my girl because she paid a lot for that technology but that's pretty close that's all from Amazon. I also got one in black. I just don't know where it is. Because you can never have too many black bodysuits. Um, the next outfit I want to talk about is this dress that I got from New York and Company years ago. Never wore with tags. I'm trying to shop my closet as well and stop buying things that and not wearing the things I already have. So I got this two or three years ago. Never wore it from New York and Company. My daughter called it the Fiesta dress. It has just tassels all over it. I wore it with um, Iran sandals. Very simple. It's hot. It's a hundred something degrees. I saw it today. I think like 104. I'm trying to hurry up with this video because it's hot. I'm sitting in front of the window. It's very hot. Um, next outfit. I thought this was really cute. These are a pair of the pants that I got from Abercrombie. I do need to get them taken in in my tailor because they are kind of big. But I do like them. The t-shirt is from Walmart. It's from Scoop. It has the shoulder pads in it. Love it. I told y'all I raved about those last year, the year before, maybe last year. Bought them in every color that I could find. I have a, an orange one, a pink one, a light pink one, a hot pink one, a white one. I wish I had a black one, but I don't. Um, belt is Gucci. The pants are very breezy, flowy. They're really, really cute. I wore them with sneakers. Like, I like the whole vibe. I just need to get them taken in because they're a little big. But yeah, I thought this was really cute. Great work outfit. Like I said, um, core pieces. So like I like the t-shirts with the, if you find a t-shirt you like, buy it in multiple colors. Cause you need easy, quick outfit um, inspiration. You need easy, quick outfit pieces. I'm not a minimalist. So if you're looking for a minimal wardrobe or build a capsule wardrobe, it's not gonna be here. We are gonna build a wardrobe, but it's not based on minimalism. It's based on what you like and if you want to just buy one and alternate one that's fine but i'm an advocate for buying it in every color if you like it because i'm a maximalist not a minimalist I'm trying to be less less of a maximalist but i'm definitely not a minimalist but anyway um so yeah that was a cute outfit next outfit was one that i wore to malaya's performance it's like a weekend the t-shirt was from um h&m it was i forgot his name Oh, it's like the little man, and I can see it in my head. I cannot think of his name. Keith Haring. Keith Haring t-shirt. The shorts are from Abercrombie. They're the dad shorts with the slit on the side, and then my Ugg sandals that I got. Next outfit was for church. She had to perform again. My shirt was from um, uh, Prologue. I miss prologue with target this is from the prologue days it's not prologue it's a new day but still i feel like the design there used to be like a black head designer at target he had dreads i'm gonna google it and see if he's still there because i feel like the design aesthetic overall is kind of like and it's like leveled out i mean it's not like total bottom level i mean still target but it's not like i mean this is a new day this like could you see a new day making this now i couldn't Anywho, prologue shirt, they need a contemporary brand. They need to have contemporary clothes, period. Whether it be a new day, prologue, somebody. Um, prologue shirt, jeans are Abercrombie, of course. And my shoes are from DSW. I forgot the brand, like 99 and Union or something like that. So cute. And so, yeah, let's talk about the stuff that I got from Target. So from Target, they had a 30% off sale. I purchased a few things. I got another slip dress. Y'all know these are outfit staples for me. I like to wear to work and just lounging. This one is in an extra large. It's a brown leopard print. As you can see the difference. You're like, you have the same dress. Now this is black with like a brassier gold and this is brown. So this is like a taupe and then a dark brown. 
and it's long it's all the way to the floor which i wish this one was this one is midi so i got that i didn't go crazy like i normally do target stuff. i'm being more selective with the things that i buy I really do like the outlet only about three things like i'm it might look like a lot to a normal person but as far as like my volume of shopping i think it's going down i got this little plant because i thought it was cute to sit in my window in my office it's like an elephant plant, but it's a mini one. It has a little pink pot, the fake dirt. It's $5. It's a potted faux plant. I'll go ahead and sit that here. I mean, it can go to the office at work or at home, but I like it at home. I got another slip dress in um, a dusty pink. These for me are just like easy like outfits um builders throwing a blazer over the top for church work just a pink one they were like 15 dollars regular 25 but they had 30 percent off so they were sale i have to show y'all some jewelry i have from ethica i only got four things from target which for me then i got this black dress i might wear this tomorrow it is a cute little dress it was 28 dollars, and it's the bottom is like a cotton material and then the top is like yes yes and the top is like a um tank top it's really cute and it has like the little gathered waist i'm gonna try all this stuff on and i have like split screens with me wearing it. I got it in an extra large. I got all the dresses in an extra large. Lastly, I got a pair of cargo lounge pants. That's all the rave on the TikTok. These are from Wild Fable. I got them in extra large. I got Malaya a pair too. She wore hers yesterday. She looked really cute. I should have got a picture. They're $28. Um, I wanted the black, but it sold out. So I just got the brown. And they're so soft and so comfortable. So I feel to the hype and I got a pair. Last thing I'm gonna show y'all is the jewelry I have from Ethica. But before that, oh, I wanted to mention my lipstick too. It's Rich Auntie from the Lip Bar. It's a really, really pretty red. I recommend. I will link this as well. And I've worn it several times. Next outfit is um what was it? is another combo for me a winning combo shirt of interest the shirts from express skinny jeans I, skinny je i like other jeans i have cargo jeans i have mom jeans i have dad jeans i have 90 straights i have straights like i have all kinds of i love jeans jeans are another staple for me um, I have all types of jeans. And I love them. I would never get rid of any of my jeans. I mean, I, I replenish and, and, and reinvent my jean wardrobe because I do have a lot of jeans. But I, a good skinny jean cannot be matched. It can't. I mean, when it fits well, you can show off your shoes. Whether you're wearing sneakers, you can tuck them in boots. You can show off your sandals. I mean, they're just sleek. You can't beat it. I mean, if you, you're a shoe lover, as I am, you don't want your pants to cover up your shoes. Who's going to see your shoes? Skinny jeans are perfect for that. I love skinny jeans. I've refound, I've refound, I redeveloped a love for skinny jeans in the past year. It's like I kind of fell off and went to the cargo and the straights and all of that. But now I'm back with my love for bae. Skinny jeans are bae, along with the jambalaya and the fried fish. Um, but these are from Express. Express has some really good ones. I'll link them. My shirt is from Express. I love a good shirt with interest. That could be fabric choice, like organza like this in a plain color. It can be linen or it can be fabric choice, sleeve. And like for this one, fabric choice, my sleeves were puffy. Fabric choice, it was silky. Sleeves were puffy and the print for this one. This was a triple thread shirt. You can pick one or, or all three. I mean, sometimes I want all three. Fabric choice. A, um, a print of interest and also like some kind of accoutrement like you can have your sleeves or you can have like a collar or a tie or something so whatever floats your boat 
Sometimes I like all three, sometimes I just one. But a shirt of interest is very important in your wardrobe because you don't have to put any effort with it. It does everything for you. That's what pieces like leopard print um, shirts with interest do. Even though this is black, it's organza. It has a puff sleeve. It has like the see-through in the front. It's a shirt of interest. So it doesn't have to be a hot pink shirt. It could be a black shirt. You say, I don't like greens or pinks. Like all those colors you wear, I could never. They look cute on you. They look cute on you. I can never do that. That's fine. Get you a black shirt. But make sure it's a black shirt of quality. Make sure it has good material. Make sure it has something that will help you stand out. You don't want to blend into the crowd. Like we all get dressed to stand out, to be the best version of yourself. So get a shirt of interest. It could be a black shirt. Just make it interesting. It could be a brown shirt. You say brown's my favorite color. I love blue. I love to mix. I want to wear white. I love white. I'm Lisa Ray. I love white. Okay. Get a white shirt of interest. Get a chiffon shirt. Get a silk shirt. Get a shirt with sleeves. Get a shirt with some kind of tie. It's got to be something's got to be like mm -mm, like you want to eat it up about it. It can't just be plain or blah or we're bored. So for me, most of the time it's the print or the sleeve. But it could be a combination of all three. Um, and the last outfit I'm going to talk about is Malaya had a game. I wanted her to be cute. And I'm not one of those moms who wear like cheer mom shirt or like, I mean, I'll buy a cheer mom shirt just to chip in, but I don't want to wear a cheer mom shirt. A cheer mom shirt or a school, like even the bedazzle ones, just not my vibe because I like to, I don't like being confined. So I really wouldn't work well somewhere where I had to wear a uniform because I mean, where's the fun in that? Like I want to express myself and I do that with my clothes. So I was going to a game and most moms I know wear like the school colors, not really my thing. I want it to be cool, casual, and most of all, cool, breezy cool. So I wore a thermal dress from Nordstrom uh, three or four years ago. Um, my Gucci fanny pack because I wanted my hands free. Um, and my dad sandals from Target that I got two years ago. And my palette was brown, pink, and neutral. The school colors are red, blue, and white. <laughs> Like I was, I mean, my presence there should be support enough. Why do my clothes have to show support? I just want my clothes to show how I feel. Like my clothes are extension and expression of me. Um, and I don't know if that was like, if that's like, because I went to a private school for so long and I had to wear uniforms that like, I'm so anti that, I don't know. But even when I wore uniforms in, I would still like wear different socks or like interesting shoes or something to make my uniform stand out. So yeah, I'm just not a conformer, I guess. But yeah, I went to the game. It was very cool. It's a hundred. Well, I keep saying cool because the heat index here has been like 10 between 102 and 107 on any given day. The degrees here have been between 98 and 100 degrees at the high. Lows are like 95. It doesn't cool off below the 90s until maybe like 10:30, 11 o'clock at night. It's hot. That's why I keep reiterating cool. Um, it's it's distinctively, weirdly, get your life together and go, like, get saved. Hot. <laughs> it's hot. It's hot. It's like, are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. Hot. Like, it's like, you know. Um, so, yeah. it's That's why I keep saying cool. Because cool is, like, up here. It has to be cool. Breezy cool. Cool aesthetically, yes. But also breezy cool because it is hot. So, yeah, that's why I keep saying that. But, yeah, it was very cool. It was thermal. It was like I loved it. Really quick, I got some stuff from Ethica. Y'all know they send me pieces every month. And I keep forgetting to show these to y'all. Even if I don't mention it, I do get, like, a couple of things. So, this month, I don't remember what I got. But we're going to see together. So, I got a set of rings. It looks kind of small. So it's four rings. Let's see if I can wear one. These are in a the size eight, I think. Okay, yeah. I don't know why I thought I wore a nine. Because your ring finger usually matches your shoe finger. I mean, your shoe size. 
but yeah they like four sets of gold rings their jewelry is 18 karat gold um plated so it doesn't fade which is like a plus so yeah i got four different rings along with like this this is the one i cut off i'm just gonna put it on my i have so many rings on already but put it on top of that ring but that's the ring and then these are the other rings excited for those love a good ring with every piece of jewelry they do give you a satin bag so i'm gonna go ahead and cut the rest of the rings off and place them in the bag but yeah y'all um think about these things when like you're picking out your clothes like is this an interesting shirt does this shirt make me happy i mean you gotta get dressed so why not be happy when you get dressed you know And if you don't really care, you're like, Savannah, I really don't care. That's fine. Just come here and hear me talk about how much I like cutie dress. So I'm putting my rings in here. And then lastly, I got a necklace, which I'm like, oh, the oh, necklace, necklaces. It is a double-stranded um, diamond necklace. So it has like the little crystals on it and it's just gold a good layering piece see that so yeah these are just like layering pieces of jewelry the brand is Ethica they're sold at Nordstrom Revolve Macy's you can go to their website so weird anyway um yes yeah, so they have really good pieces um well priced they're sold at so many different places they're called ethica so go check them out and yeah that's my video i hope you enjoyed all the pieces that i showed um i will try them on for you guys and i will see you guys next time bye